Do probiotic foods really improve gut health? With so much misleading information out there, it can be hard to separate fact from fiction. This video will uncover common myths about probiotics and gut health and reveal the real scientific truth. Probiotics are live microorganisms, usually bacteria, that provide health benefits when consumed. They help support digestive and immune system function. Some of the most common probiotic bacteria are from the lactobacillus and bifidobacterium groups. You can find probiotics in certain foods like yogurt, kefir, aged cheeses, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, kombucha, and other fermented products. For probiotics to effectively provide benefits, they need to arrive intact in the intestines where they take up residence on the gut lining. Different probiotic strains help maintain the natural balance of microbes in your digestive tract prevent harmful bacteria from multiplying rapidly, strengthen the gut barrier, reduce inflammation, and support immune cells. Now here's where some confusion arises. Many people believe that all fermented and cultured foods overflow with hearty amounts of live probiotics. However, the truth is, probiotic levels can vary tremendously depending on factors like processing methods, storage times and conditions, and the specific food. For instance, many commercial yogurts undergo heat treatment that diminishes probiotic content. Refrigerated pickles may only harbor probiotic activity for the first few weeks after opening. Just because a food went through a lacto-fermentation process does not mean it still contains plentiful active probiotic colonies by the time it reaches your plate. You can't assume all fermented foods provide digestive or immune benefits without confirming viable probiotic content. Now, let's dive into the million-dollar question. Do probiotics improve digestion? This is a query that has been on the minds of many, given the rising popularity of probiotic foods in recent years. Extensive research substantiates certain probiotic strains' ability to enhance digestive health. Multiple clinical studies demonstrate probiotics may curb diarrhea stemming from antibiotic use. Infectious diarrhea like traveler's diarrhea or diarrhea linked to the stomach flu virus. Specific strains also show promise for relieving abdominal pain, bloating, and gas production associated with irritable bowel syndrome. Some analysis indicates probiotics could ease constipation for some individuals. The helpful effects probiotics exert on digestion relate to how they strengthen gut barrier defenses, reduce gut inflammation, and create a more balanced community structure of microbes in the intestines. But whether or not someone experiences digestive relief hinges on getting an adequate dose of the appropriate probiotic strain with scientifically confirmed digestive benefits. Given the compelling evidence for select probiotics' digestive advantages, it's tempting to conclude all foods or products containing probiotics will automatically enhance digestion. However, it's an oversimplification to claim that simply adding any random probiotic strains to foods generates something capable of improving digestive health for the general public. Enhancing digestion requires specific strains which must be present at sufficient dosages for enough probiotics to successfully arrive intact in the digestive tract. Additionally, because everyone's microbiome differs, responses remain highly individualized. While some clinical studies demonstrate advantages, experts cannot legitimately promise all probiotic foods universally ease digestion for everyone. But what about the broader picture of gut health? Can probiotics play a role here too? Let's know how probiotics support gut health. The gut houses over 1,000 different species of bacteria that influence your overall wellness. Imbalances in this community of gut microbes associate with many chronic diseases. Probiotics beneficially affect gut health via several interconnected mechanisms. Firstly, by balancing populations of gut microbes, probiotics prevent any one species from dominating. Secondly, by bolstering gut barrier integrity, probiotics tighten junctions between gut lining cells, limiting leaky gut issues. Thirdly, by reducing gut inflammation, probiotics calm inflammatory responses to uphold immune tolerance. Fourthly, by enhancing immune system function, exposure to probiotics helps immune cells develop, activate properly and not overreact. By improving gut permeability, lowering inflammation and making the immune system less reactive, probiotics may alleviate intestinal disorders like inflammatory bowel disease or irritable bowel syndrome over time. Given probiotics' gut-balancing aptitudes, it seems plausible all microbe-fermented products mend gut problems. However, not every food, beverage or supplement advertised as probiotic 
contains effective varieties at viable doses. Sauerkraut from the fridge or supplement bottle might only hold deactivated bacteria remnants useless for gut rehabilitation. The strains must survive digestion so enough living colonies make it where needed in the gut lining. Products only undergo comprehensive testing for real-world digestive survivability and clinical effectiveness rarely. For now, scientists cannot guarantee off-the-shelf fermented fare fixes gut issues unless specifically containing strains with proven efficacy at specific doses. Sorting out fact from fiction with probiotics gets complicated quickly. High-quality human research confirms select probiotic strains indeed provide authentic digestive relief and immune enhancement for some individuals. However, every probiotic strain differs regarding effects, so positive impacts remain conditional depending on the strain, dose, and individual microbiome. Blanket claims that all probiotic or fermented foods intrinsically benefit gut issues mislead more than inform given the variability between products. Those interested should investigate strains with rigorous clinical backing concerning specific health perks, not base decisions on sweeping generalizations and marketing ploys. When you come across bombastic assertions about magical healing powers of random probiotics, stay skeptical rather than instantly accepting. Apply critical thinking like carefully checking for cited research substantiating precise health benefits from specific strains at defined doses. Since companies often creatively extrapolate science for marketing advantage, arm yourself with facts from independent sources to make fully informed decisions concerning probiotic supplements or functional foods. Prioritize strains with legitimate clinical testing supporting effectiveness for your unique needs. That's it. Stay curious, stay informed and stay healthy.